Hey guys, what's up? Rocky Dires here and welcome back to the series on Bulma CSS Framework and welcome to the uh, second tutorial in the series. In this tutorial, I'll be talking about the helper, uh, responsive helper classes. So as you can see, I have the code over here in the uh, sublime text. So open it up so that you can start working along with me and uh, start having you know practical experience, uh, learn it practically. So anyways, uh, let's get uh, started. So over here, as you can see, I have uh, given a division in which I have uh, two more divisions. And the first division has a button. And the second one has a random text. And this random text can be generated using Lipsum. Lipsum is a lorem ipsum generator. So I will I will also uh, put, the, uh, put the link down below in the description so that you can go ahead and uh, you can uh, copy and uh, paste the uh, text over there. So anyways, uh, uh, as you can see in the uh, window over here, we have a button which is uncolored. So let us give it uh, some color. So let's say uh, is, uh, oops, one second. All right, so as you can see, I already have uh, given a class to it. So uh, it is yellow uh, because I have given is warning and it is large because I have given is large. Uh, as we have seen in the previous video, I have uh, talked about the various uh, styles, uh, the button that uh, the various styles that the button can take. So, anyways, uh, let's get going. So, uh, over here, uh, I have uh, a lot of text, and I in this video will be talking about float. I'll be talking about overlay, size, uh, text, and other uh, helper classes that you can add so that you can style your uh, uh, CSS effectively. So the first one will be uh, added to the button. So the float uh, uh, helper class. So over here uh, I have added something called is pulled left. So you uh, you can see that the button is on the left, which is by default anyways. So if you want to change it to the right side, you can say is pulled right. So let's see what happens. So as you can see, the button has immediately gone to the right side, and you require no other uh, CSS uh, coding over here. You don't have to do or say anything so even when i go to the developer console it will stay the same so as you can see it is on the right as as of now so this is a quick uh, thing that you can use uh, it is uh, simple you just say is dash pulled dash right dash is nothing but the hyphen over here so similarly you have is pulled left uh, this is very helpful when you have several other columns we'll be talking about columns in the coming up videos so stay tuned for that so the next one, uh, let's talk about overlay. So what overlay does is that, let's see what it does. Uh, so as of now, there is no class to the second division. So I'll add something called is overlay and let's see what happens. All right, so as you can see, the text uh, completely moved up and that is because uh, we have given the overlay class and is overlay, what it does is that it, uh, it, uh, it gives the Z index as the topmost uh, Z index. So Z index is nothing but the topmost layer. So whatever division uh, to which we have applied is overlay, it uh, generally uh, gives the topmost Z index and it goes on top of each and every element that is present over there. And uh, anyways, uh, the limitation uh, to that which is required in general is uh, that it acts in the only pre uh, in the on the parent element. So that is one uh, good uh, feature we have. So we don't have we don't want it to overlay on top of everything in uh, whatever we uh, select uh, in a long form in a long uh, web page. We don't want it to come to the top of everything else. So that is how it is uh, helpful. So let me clear that out. So the next one is uh, size uh, being full width. So what you can do that, uh, for this is that uh, let's uh, see over here and let's see what happens. So for example, I gave uh, something called is full width I'll refresh it and let's see what happens so as of now nothing is happening uh, I guess so as you can see uh, it is full bit over here so I have done uh, I have copied the uh, button text over here uh, on the outside so that is uh, that seems to be working outside so I guess uh, you have to give the full bit option everywhere else so for it to work properly so anyways uh, so that is how full bit works and let me clear that out uh, so anyways uh, uh, let's get going further ahead so over here in the text uh, you have uh, 
three more options to center the text to make uh, to send the text to the left and the right so uh, how you can do that is uh, you just give the class to the uh, division element that is containing the text so let's say is hyphen text centered so let's see what happens all right sorry uh, in, instead of is you have to give has text centered so what you do is that you say has text centered and as you can see the text is completely centered over here so as you can see it uh, applies on all the uh, portions so similarly you uh, give something called has text left so it, uh, it uh, directly sends it to the left side and you can also give it a right so that it sends it to the right side and this is just by only one class we don't have to struggle with anything else so that's one quick way guys uh, uh, keep going ahead and uh, experimenting with uh, these so that you learn it properly so anyways uh, there are other uh, few other features uh, that are uh, kind of useful so you can have is disabled as uh, i was showing uh, in the previous video so over here you can uh, give uh, is disabled uh, uh, functionality to the button so you can no longer click it so that is one thing and you can also add marginless and paddingless to remove the margin and padding for the elements uh, to make them zero uh, just by saying is a marginless and is paddingless and so as you can see the uh, the padding has go, uh, disappeared from the button similarly margin also works when there is a margin over here it is not reflecting as of now so anyways guys uh, uh, finally there is another one which is called is unselectable so what you can do is that you can uh, say is unselectable so what this means is that uh, as you can see if I drag my mouse I am unable to uh, select the text so this is pretty useful when you don't want your blog uh, content to be uh, directly copied and pasted into something else and you know directly pirated onto something else so that is a pretty useful feature so a lot of websites uh, currently use it if you come across it you will know what I'm talking about so anyways guys uh, this, uh, uh, this is that's it for this uh, video the second video so I'll be uh, coming up with mu much more content on Bulma CSS framework so stay tuned to my videos and also make sure that you subscribe and share to these videos uh, subscribe to the video I'm sorry and share uh, the videos to uh, your friends so that they also can learn it and uh, I'll see you in the next video Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.